Good morning. Welcome along to Wednesday. Well, what can we say? Good old Boris Johnson, as I like to call him, good old, uh, survived a vote of no confidence in the House of Commons. Yes. Uh, so he will still be Prime Minister for the foreseeable future. Unlucky all you people who jeer him. Just think what he did for COVID. Just think what he did for Brexit. Just think what he's doing for Ukraine. Don't be cheeky out there. All right, he broke the rules in lockdown. Yes, he had a party. Now, be honest with me. And um, I mean be honest. Who didn't break the rules? Eh? Me and Tracy did. We went all the way to Southampton. Yes, to Rogers Wholesale. It was like a ghost town on the A27. Quite scary. Well, we went. Nothing happened to us. No. Just people trying to be big-headed and... I don't know. Because he's in charge of the country, he's to blame. Yeah. Tell me who else will do the job that he's doing. Or will have done the job that he's done. Yeah, you've got to be very, very clever and very wise about what you say about people. Think before you open your trap. Well, I had the bloke out from NRS yesterday to have a look at my bed. He said, there's nothing wrong with it. And I felt like picking it up and throwing it at him and saying, well, you sleep on it then, matey. I'm sure you haven't got one at home. Yeah. I don't know. Which of one did the last math exam as well. Hopefully that went all right. I should think so, because this was one of the exams where you could use a calculator and a bit of paper to work it out on. Mm. Not a head. Well, what did we have for dinner? We had a lovely Chinese, the one from Iceland, already packed and boxed. Uh, the sweet and sour chicken balls are very nice. Apart from the sweet and sour sauce, I find it's a bit spicy. Very peppery. Um, not not disliked, but different to what you get out of the Chinese shop. I think it's quite nice. And tonight, I want to try my hand at making a bacon and onion suet pudding with some mashed potato, peas and gravy. All depends what Tracy feels like doing when she gets up. Isn't that right, dear? Oh, it's Snora, Laura. See, she's gone back to bed because all she does is snore all night long. Oh, I've never known someone to fall asleep at the drop of a pin or drop of a hat, as it's called. She can. Yeah. God. One minute. Don't snore, Tracy. All right, I'm sorry. I don't know I'm doing it. And the next moment. <coughs> oh, please. No, no, not again. What would that and a pump on this bed, on this mattress, air mattress? Oh, it's time to slit wrists. It really is. <laughs> it's so depressing. Well, I'm like ting to slow. Hey, man, 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 get right. I'm hoping to say that my stomach has sort of calmed down a bit than what it has been in previous days. Um. That's not a very nice subject to talk about. Not a nice subject to have either. I've uh, gone back to the doctors to... I used to have... I call them shit stoppers. They're not. They're, I can't think of the name of it. Lopamide or something. They stopped diarrhoea. I used to take them every day. And they done they done the job. They kept me... Uh, kept my stools regular and th firm. <laughs> uh, so they are in boots waiting to be picked up. Uh, when I went into hospital last February, or the February before, half my tablets, they decided to stop. Yeah, because it interfered with my internal organs, apparently. That's nice. That's what I keep saying. Yeah, so, uh, just goes to show you, you don't need all your pills. No, they can stop them just like that. They can start them just like that. I reckon if I was to stop them all, I might end up a normal-sized person. My leg might grow back and uh, pigs might fly, but we will see. 
Anyway, I'll still pester in her for this competition. It will happen one day. Got to do the usual hellos. Rob, Angie, Nicole, poor Rosie. I hope you're feeling better, darling. She had to have an operation, so uh, let's hope she's feeling better. Lucy, James, Emily, Joey, Amelia, Gavin, if you can be bothered to listen to the programme or the show, the episode number, blah, 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 blah. I might tell you what number it is tomorrow. I might have an add up of how many actual videos are on my channel. Uh, I must say I've had one more subscriber, which I'm very happy about. I'm back up to 59. Whoa! But I've been doing it for three years. It's took me that long to get 59 subscribers. I mean, if I was Gavin, I would have gone out and bought myself a couple of hundred thousand. Yeah. Apparently, that's what you do. Nah. Right, well, I'm going anyway. I'm going to crack on with today. You've got a nursery coming later on. And me carers. All right. You look after yourselves. Love you lots. Ta-ra.